Keep your heads lifted up, soldiers, for Jesus Christ our redemption draweth near. And here's the verse of the day. And it's Psalms 84, 11. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will be withhold from them that walk uprightly. And Jesus Christ said the signs would be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, and they are. And the signs and the confirmations that he's revealing are gigantinormous. All glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Praise you, Father, for the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit. And what I'm about to show you and share with you is off the charts, family. And as you can see right here on time and date, 2024, when you go to April 8th, the total solar eclipse is a super new moon. And the UTC time for that super new moon is 1820. And when you go to Strong's Greek, 1820, the definition is to be utterly at loss, be in despair, but it gets bigger when you go to Strong's Hebrew 1820. This cannot be denied. The definition is to cease, cause to cease, cut off, destroy. 1820, the time of the super new moon, UTC time. On the great American solar eclipse that makes an X. 1820, destroy. And when you scroll down, this is what's so gigantinormous. And it's right here under Strong's Exhaustive Concordance. And this is not a coincidence. It says to destroy, cease, be cut down, off, destroy, be brought to, silence, be undone. X, utterly. X, utterly, destroy. And many people will be left behind. And when you go back to Strong's Greek 1820, it's right there. Left in the straits with no way out. Without exit. And remember, this all started with the Revelation 12 sign on 9-19-2023. When the woman was clothed with the sun and the moon was under her feet and child was in the woman. And she being with child cried in pain to be delivered. And immediately after this sign, Israel was attacked on 10-7. And when you go to time and date calculator and you go to 10-7 when Israel was attacked and the war started and you add 184 days, it lands on the great American solar eclipse on April 8th, 4-8 like Exodus 4, 8, and it shall come to pass if they will not believe thee, neither hearken to the voice of the first sign, that they will believe the voice of the latter sign. Well, here's what's so gigantinormous about it being 184 days since the war started landing on the eclipse. When you go to Strong's Hebrew 184, the definition is to sign, mark, describe with a mark. And when you type in X means Christ, you could see right there it says respected worldwide atheists and antichrist made the decision to change it by replacing the name Christ with an X to mean that there is no Christ. And remember, Elon Musk changed Twitter to X. And right below that, you can see X is the first letter in the Greek word for Christ. And you already know, in Hebrew, X is to seal, to make a covenant, to join two things together, or to make a sign, Tav. Again, all glory to you, Father, for showing us these confirmations in your signature, and showing us it's 184 days from when Israel was attacked into the great American solar eclipse, 184 to sign, mark, describe with a mark. And when you scroll down, there's only one occurrence in the whole Bible, and it's Numbers 34.10. You shall also draw a line, and ye shall point out your east. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. 
and a glimpse at the map of the April 2024 North American solar eclipse, however, shows a path from west to east, and ye shall point out your east. And Jesus Christ comes like lightning from the east to the west. And there's another mark coming after the rapture. And Jesus Christ said, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you already know, whoever's left behind will not be able to buy, sell, or trade without the mark of the beast. And you already know, the great reset that the world is talking about is going to lead to a one world digital currency. And the people left behind will not be able to buy, sell, or trade unless they take the mark and they're linked to the internet and this digital currency. And the devil is already preparing everyone that's going to be left behind for this digital transformation. And all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. I already debunked the OSAS theory with the word of God, the truth. And the truth, Jesus Christ showed me that when you type in OSAS.com, Ready for digital transformation pops up. This is not a coincidence that the devil linked OSAS.com to digital transformation. The people left behind that take the mark of the beast will be digitally transformed to a one world digital currency to buy, sell, and trade. Without that mark and that digital transformation, they will not be able to buy, sell, or trade. And if they don't worship the beast or take his mark, they will be killed. So if you're left behind, let them kill you. Let them behead you. Do not reject Jesus Christ. Do not denounce Jesus Christ. Do not take the mark of the beast. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Some shall depart from the faith. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word, nor by the letter as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. Apostasy specifically is referred to a willful falling away from or rebellion against Christianity. And nothing happens unless God allows it. And that's why he put the word OSAS in apostasy. OSAS.com. Aptian is very clear. Their logo's an A, like Antichrist. And when you look up Aptian name meaning, it's right here. Aptian introduces new identity. Now back to his signs, all glory to our Father, I showed you that Rehoboth is right next to the eclipse. And Rehoboth means Nineveh. It's the same place. Well, here's what's gigantinormous. The president, Joe Biden, has a home in Rehoboth. It's not a coincidence that this sign is happening, the sign of Nineveh. And Nineveh means Rehoboth. And the president, Joe Biden, has a house in Rehoboth. And if you bless Israel, you'll be blessed. And if you curse Israel, you'll be cursed. And this year, Joe Biden signed an executive order against Israeli settlers in the West Bank. 
And the world is starting to talk about the two-state solution again. It's right here. The strange resurrection of the two-state solution three days ago. And I believe Jesus Christ is showing us the reason why Israel was attacked and they took hundreds of hostages is to use the hostages as leverage to push the two-state solution. Why else would Netanyahu reject these negotiations to release the hostages? More than likely, they're telling him that they will release the hostages if he divides the land and pushes through the two-state solution. Obviously, that's why Biden is calling Netanyahu an a-hole. He is frustrated by Prime Minister's refusal to change tactics in Gaza and agree to Saudi normalization framework. Put it together, family. The war, Israel being attacked, is all part of the plan to divide the land. And anybody that's saying that you do not have to repent from sin is highly deceived. And if they're pushing the sign of Jonah, Nineveh, then they're hypocrites. God told Jonah to go to Nineveh and tell them to repent. That's why God is giving us this sign. The sign of Jonah, Nineveh. He's telling America and the world to repent from sin. So don't let anyone make you feel bad for turning from sin. The wages of sin is death. And when you turn from sin, the devil will flee. Many are called, but few are chosen. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes or thorns or figs or thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Imagine that. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. <laughs> 